After two months away, the LPGA returned from its off-season last week in the Bahamas. 2013 was dominated by Inby Park, who rose to world number one after collecting the first three majors of the year, the first woman to do that since Babe Zaharias in 1950. Suzanne Pedersen was another who enjoyed a fruitful 2013. The Norwegian picked up the Evian Championship as well as helping Europe win the Solheim Cup. One person who watched from the sidelines was Natalie Golbis. The American suffered with a bout of malaria earlier in the year, but began to show glimpses of her best form towards the end of the season. We caught up with the LPGA star at the Natalie Golbis Golf Classic, a day aimed at raising money for the Boys and Girls Club of Southern Nevada ahead of the new season. Before the Wendy's 3 Tour, I had three weeks off and I got to spend time here in Las Vegas and work with my coach, Butch Harmon, and I played really well in the Wendy's. We won the Wendy's 3 Tour Challenge and I hit it really well there and I went on to the Tour Championship and found myself going into the final round with the lead and I remember the media asking me afterwards, like, what has been the difference? And it was three weeks being home with, with my coach here, Butch Harmon, and getting to work on my swing and work on my game and I played very poorly on Sunday and was a little bummed that I didn't have some more events because I had been striking the ball so well well and it just gives me a lot of positive things to look forward to for next year's season. Now 31 and six years since her first and to date only LPGA victory at the Evian Masters in France, Natalie hopes that the extra practice she's putting in will help her finally clinch a second tour title. Looking in the next season winning. It's uh, you, you, you look back on every season and you want to win tournaments and that's Okay. You know, it's great to play well and to be in contention, but it really is. You look at back on your career and it's it's events you won, finish second, we're in a playoff, you know, play in tournaments. This is my 13th season, so I'm excited to go out and to, to win events. Her victory in France came well before the Evian Championship was awarded major status, making it the fifth major in the women's game. In 2013, her best performance at a major came at the British Open, where she finished in ninth place. Since turning professional, she's claimed seven top ten finishes at majors and is hoping to contend again in 2014. I love majors. Some of my best, if you look at the stats of my career, my best events have been in majors. I love the Craft Nabisco, which is the first event in the desert. I love US Opens. Super excited to be part of the, the event where the men and the women will be back to back at Pinehurst. Um, British Opens, I always love going to British Opens. There's just nothing really like the majors. The majors are so special and they're big stages on big golf courses and they're really the events that, you know, you get geared up. But we have a lot of other big events. We have what would be the major in Asia, which is the HSBC Champions event in Singapore. That's a huge event to, uh, to win. So we have, have a lot of good events to look forward to. So I would take any of those to, to play or win. Any of them's fine. <laughs> Realising she's now entering her prime golfing years, fit, healthy and happy. Look out for Natalie to make an impact in 2014. And who knows, maybe that second win will finally come her way.